Hello, it's Monica from EDAC. Today I will talk about texture mapping in SketchUp. Incorrectly mapped textures can undermine your visualization. Repetitive small textures can damage the appearance of your materials, but there are multiple solutions to fix this issue. Let's learn how to map textures easily. Let's start with the basics. When you apply materials to selection in SketchUp, you can adjust the texture's dimensions in the materials window on the right side of the default tray. In the Edit tab, you can specify the size of the texture. For my tile texture, I want each tile to be 60 cm, so the entire texture should have dimensions of 120 by 120 cm. After changing the size, I will measure the tiles. Now they are correctly sized at 60 cm each. Next, let's talk about placement. It's crucial to apply materials to faces, not to groups. This is important because if you apply materials to a group, you won't be able to adjust the position of the texture. By applying materials to faces, you can select the face, right-click on it, and choose Texture Position. Now you can drag to change the placement of the texture. This is very useful for accurately positioning of the texture in the right place. That's not all. With the green pin icon, you can rotate or scale the texture. Be careful with this option. I mostly use this pin to rotate the texture. To scale the texture, I always use the materials window in the default tray. During rotation, you might accidentally scale the texture, so proceed with caution. I don't use the yellow and blue pins as they distort or shear the texture. If you right-click on the texture, you can reset changes, Flip the texture or rotate it by 90, 180 and 270 degrees. I often use this rotation option. I press enter and that's all. Our texture is now placed correctly. Let's move on to Sketch UV plugin. This is my couch and I would like to fix the texture mapping on this object. Sometimes furniture downloaded from the 3D warehouse has incorrect texture mapping. Simple steps do not work because the texture placement option only works for flat surfaces. If the object is more complex, these previous solutions will not work. To solve this texture mapping problem, we need to use a free Sketch UV plugin. Here's how to install it. Go to Extension tab and select Extension Warehouse. Search for Sketch UV plugin and install it for free. If the Sketch UV toolbar does not appear automatically after installation, right-click on the top bar and select the Sketch UV plugin from the menu. With this plugin, you will be able to manage texture mapping on more complex objects efficiently. Currently, the texture is mapped in multiple directions, which does not look realistic. To fix this with the Sketch UV plugin, follow these steps. Open the group of the couch object by double-clicking on it. Select the faces you want to remap. Click on Sketch UV Mapping Tools icon and right-click on the selected surface and choose the type of mapping. Let's start with Planner Map. If you choose this option, the object will be mapped according to our view. However, for a couch, that might not be the best option. You can choose different types of mapping, but I mostly use box map. This is the best option in most cases, as it makes the mapping look realistic and places the texture in one consistent direction. Now you can change the mapping by using the arrows on your keyboard. Use the arrow keys to change the texture option. Hold the left control and press the right or left arrow on the keyboard to rotate the texture. Hold the left shift and press the left or right arrows to resize the texture in one direction. Up or down arrows on the keyboard to scale the texture in the other direction. Remember, you can also resize the texture in the materials window. Repeat the process for the rest of the model. It's done! The mapping looks great and realistic. Now let's talk about texture mapping in V-Ray for SketchUp. To avoid problems with mapping, once the texture mapping is done correctly, try not to lose this effect by changing the material of the object improperly. 
Let's take a look at these bar stools. They look great with the current texture. I want to replace this texture with a newer wood map. If I open the group and apply the new texture to selection, the proper mapping is lost. Let's undo that and try again. This time I open Asset Editor in V-Ray, right-click on the current material and choose Select Objects in Scene. This will select all the faces using this texture. Next, right-click on the new material you want to apply and choose Apply to Selection. It's done! As you can see, the mapping looks great. The only thing left to do is to adjust the size of the texture in the materials window. If the mapping is incorrect from the beginning, we can use special options in V-Ray to fix it. Firstly, right-click on the top bar and select V-Ray Utilities. You will find four icons for texture mapping. Try Planner Projection Word and Fit and Spherical Projection Word and Fit. I mostly use Word Projection as it is not dependent of object scaling and provides more consistent results. I open the group, select the faces and click on the Try Planner Projection Word icon. If necessary, I adjust the dimensions of the texture and it's done. The texture looks great. Now texture mapping should be much easier for you. Let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org. You will find there are many free resources about SketchUp and V-Ray. See you there. Bye.